Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, well awesome. This is normally how my voice sounds. It's totally normal and I do not have cold. Jokes apart, yes, I'm not well and yeah, my throat is on fire right now. But I just have to make this video because I have been putting it off for a while now and I just have to get done with it. And I hope that my voice does not take away from my content because this is probably one of the most important videos on my channel. So yeah, this is on skincare. Now, you can't talk about makeup before talking about skincare. So naturally, I was very, very interested in makeup and I got dragged into skincare but yeah it's a loophole baby you can never escape from that okay, in this video i'm going to be sharing some mistakes some tips and just straight up facts that i wish my younger self knew even just like one year from now because in 2021 i decided to take good care of my skin and let's just say um i experimented a lot with my skin and i broke my skin down i act i absolutely ruined it i absolutely wrecked it and i rebuilt it so basically i have a lot more experience than what i had like a year ago now hear me out if you guys don't have the time to watch this entire video i just want i have divided this video into chapters so what i want you guys to do is click on those chapters and watch like the first minute of each chapter because even though you guys are not interested in knowing my opinion in knowing my experiences just know what i'm trying to convey right you just have to know that because that's the reason why i'm making this video i just want like even if this video like helps one person that's going to be it you guys so yeah without any further ado let's get started my first point it's not a tip it's not a mistake it's straight up a fact so basically if you are someone between 14 to 20 your skin is young you guys your skin has the capacity to heal itself do not go overboard with skincare from now on because if you don't allow your skin to do what it's supposed to do and do what it can do because your skin is now in its healthiest form like literally young supple just healthy and if you make your skin rely on skincare your skin won't do what it's supposed to do okay so your skin has a capacity to heal itself do not try to heal something that's not broken if you don't have acne don't use skincare for acne if you don't have habit pigmentation don't use skincare for habit pigmentation you guys have no idea the amount of people that have complained like i have heard so many people say oh my skin was so good before i started doing skincare and now that i did skincare my skin got a lot worse so yeah that's the whole point because if you won't choose your skincare products properly you will obviously face reactions you are choosing products that's not made for you and obviously it's making your skin worse like it did for me anyway now coming back to point number two that is stick to the basics first you cannot start with the serums and exfoliators before you even start with the basics if you're someone who hasn't touched skincare don't directly jump into something that you have no idea about start with the basics so earlier my basic was ctm which is basically cleansing toning and moisturizing right now i feel like the basic is actually cms cleanser moisturizer and sunscreen so basically first find out what skin problems you have if you don't have any skin problems stick to the basic and if you do have skin problem then use products accordingly so in my case i have been using skincare for a while now and i have customized my skincare routine accordingly so my skincare routine is a one brand skincare routine so i have been using momsco products for a while now and i think it's safe to say that it's working really really good i'm starting off with the momsco natural green tea face wash it has a gel-like texture and watery consistency. It controls the extra sebum production without dehydrating my skin. I chose Momsco mainly because a lot of their products were already on my wish list. I mean, I have heard so many good reviews of them. But apart from that, there are so many different ranges. You can find the right range for you via your skin type and skin concerns. Then I'm going to use the Momsco Natural Green Tea Face Toner. As I said, I wrecked my skin's natural barrier last year, so I'm using this to soothe my skin up and hydrate it. It also balances the pH level and keeps the barrier intact. Now talking about the moisturizer, I go in with the Momsco Natural Green Tea Face Cream and let me say you, this moisturizer is one of the best I've used so far. It just instantly plumps my skin up, gives me that healthy glowy look and it also has niacinamide so it's just ideal for me. And lastly, I go in with the Momsco Natural Vita Rich Under Eye Cream. So as you guys know, I sometimes pull all-nighters to watch my favorite K-dramas. And even with my online classes and stuff, this cream really, really helps me with that. 
and if you guys are interested in buying any of the products i showed in this video then you can just visit www.themomsco.com and use the code detox15 and get a flat 15 percent off and no this is not an affiliate link i'm not getting anything out of this it's just for you guys now my third point which is basically a tip and this is the most important tip in this whole video you guys if you don't take away anything from this video take this sunscreen is your best friend do not ignore sunscreen it doesn't matter if you're even below 14 like even kids should wear sunscreen to be honest but yeah sunscreen is your best friend because any skincare problem you have and it can be anything you guys sun will only and only aggravate your skin problem thing which i also want to say you guys is don't get mad when you guys get tanned your skin cells literally die like literally commit suicide so you don't end up with skin cancer so every time you get those tan thank your cells thank those dead cells because they died so that you don't end up dying like literally and people don't realize how serious is that my fourth tip is do not underestimate hydration you guys now hydrating products are the only products that won't cause skin problems to you because they are the most profitable to you to be honest and honestly i can just guarantee you right now right here and now you have dehydrated skin now don't confuse hydrated skin with oily skin your skin have your skin can have like all the oil in the world and it can still be dehydrated and demoisturized let me just explain to you, you know it's just gonna make sense to you so basically when you don't take proper care of your skin when your skin is dry when your skin is dehydrated your skin cells they love you so they care about you so what they do is they produce oil for your skin now when they produce oil for your skin that's a good thing right well no the oil they produce is mostly it's like a hot bathtub for all the germs all the bacteria in the world and that's how you get acne so when you take proper care of your skin you moisturize your skin you hydrate your skin by the way moisturization and hydration hydration are two different things moisturization is oil based hydration is water based and both your skin needs i'm giving more importance to hydration is because you moisturize your skin every now and then you apply the cream and stuff but your moisturizer does not give you hydration so you may need some extra serum some extra essence for that hydration so yeah once you start taking proper care of your skin you moisturize you hydrate your skin won't feel the need to produce that extra oil and that can just prevent acne to a lot extent my fourth point is it gets worse before it gets better just how in chemical exfoliation you have purging and stuff before you finally start getting that glow um Total in general in skincare, you may have to go through a lot of products before you find the one for you because your skincare is very, very subjective, you guys. A product which is loved by millions of people, the truth is probably it's not going to work for you. And a product that works beautifully on your skin may not work on your mom's skin, may not work on my skin. That's how we are made. Everyone is different. So it will take time. Um, actually it will take a lot of time a lot of effort and maybe a lot of money because skincare is expensive to find the one for you but once you find the perfect skincare for you now you're just gonna like fall in love with it you are set for life anyway now my fifth point and my sixth point is going to be um a very hard pill to swallow these are like not tips or mistakes these are something that you need to know and you need to accept so my fifth point is it all depends on genes there are people who naturally have good genes and no matter what they do they will always have good face like always have good skin and yeah that's pretty much it and there's always going to be people that naturally don't have good skin and they may have to work a little harder to get that good skin now you may know people who use hand soap on their face and they still have like amazing skin yeah that's genes you guys so that also brings me to this point don't follow influencers or content creators blindly because a lot of them have naturally good skin and the things they recommend may not work for you and i'm saying that i'm not saying like totally like don't follow them like i am an influencer i am a youtuber but what i am saying is if you have severe acne problem follow a content creator who also has severe acne problem or who had been through that you know who has been through that or if you have like really hyperpigmentation 
follow a content creator who is also dealing with that so that way you know that they are going going through the same thing and they can just recommend the products that you really need. next point fact is I recently read this article and the title of the article was the best skincare tip is to be rich and yeah it is what it is I read that article it was absolutely heartbreaking to read and at the same time it was really eye-opening to me and yeah you will most probably you are never going to have skin like that model or that particular actress because they get work done you guys in this article by the atlantic the best skincare trick is being rich by amanda mull she writes regular people are hungry for intel on how the rich and the beautiful became that way which means that almost all beauty media regularly publishes tips and tricks lists from models and actresses it's no mystery to beauty editors and writers as well as the famous women surveyed that the answer is a combination of youth genetic luck and access to expensive products, treatments and cosmetic dermatology procedures that few people outside the world could ever hope to experience. But a dozen twenty-somethings telling you about the expensive laser treatments would be too depressing for women to read about and too embarrassing for the professionally beautiful to admit. The uh, makeup tutorials of those particular professional models or actresses, you won't see them applying a lot of concealers. You, don't see, you won't see them applying a lot of color correctors and stuff their skin naturally looks very flawless already so they just put a little bit of foundation and they look good um pretty much not like how i our skin looks so that was it for today guys i know we are ending the video in a negative note but i just feel like a lot of people already know this but they are just not willing to accept it and someone has to tell them yeah there's something wrong in looking up to people but there's definitely wrong when you compare yourself with them now, this was basically like a quick summary on everything i've learned about skincare so far and everything i wish my younger self knew i'll see you guys in my next video if you have any kind of suggestion then put them down in the comment box and yeah that's pretty much it bye bye